Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, the first in a new series, it's Trashy Tuesdays. So August will see my reading event Garb August explode all over booktube. The purpose of Garb August is to read trashy books. I did put up a, a video on Sunday talking about a few different types of trashy books. Uh, but I thought what I'd do in the run-up to Garb August is each Tuesday I will do Trashy Tuesday as well. I'll do a review of a trashy book uh, which you may enjoy or in the case of today's book may not enjoy. I didn't particularly enjoy it. Um, but I, I thought I would do a series of reviews of trashy books to give you a, give you a flavour of the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, so normally when I do book reviews I could just reel off the title of the book. Um, today that is not the case. I'm going to have to refer to my notes. Um, so I can tell you the author is Tasha Black uh, and the book is called Hannibal colon Starga uh, Stargazer Alien Mystery Brides number one open brackets intergalactic dating agency close brackets. Um, so as that title uh, may uh, suggest, this is part of a series of books. So Tasha Black appears to have written dozens and dozens and dozens of books. So many books, in fact, that I suspect that Tasha Black is not one person. I suspect that there are a, a team of people writing these books. So within the Stargazer universe, uh, you get series such as uh, Stargazer Alien Space Cruise Brides, uh, Stargazer uh, Alien Barbarian Brides, uh, and uh, Stargazer Alien Mail Order Brides, and of course uh, this series, Stargazer Alien Mystery Brides. Um, but Tasha Black also writes loads of other series uh, with titles like um, Arcadian Alien Mail Order Brides, uh, what are some of the other ones? Uh, uh, Alien Nanny Agency, uh, Single Daddy Shifters, Alien Adoption Agency, uh, alien Nanny Agency, Alien Surrogate Agency. Um, so you will get you will get the theme here that these books are all about aliens or or some of them about shifters by the sound of it. So so that seems to be the theme um, of these books is that the male characters are not human, albeit they look like human. So in the Stargazer series, from what I can gather, the aliens are. Um, kind of like gaseous gaseous clouds intelligent gaseous clouds that have managed to form themselves into human form uh, and indeed into the form of extremely hunky men um, and they've they've done that deliberately to appeal to human women um, so stargazer is this small town in america which by the sound of it, has always believed that there are aliens out there and has set itself up to welcome aliens. And then lo and behold, uh, these these aliens in the form of hunky men um, have come and are, are kind of populating um, populating the town of Stargazer and interacting with the with the human women who live there. Um, so it's a, a slightly bizarre setup, to be honest with you, um, but clearly one that has appeal given that um, given that. Uh, Tasha Black has written dozens and dozens of books um, in a you know in a similar vein, and they all seem to have you know reasonable numbers of reviews on on Amazon. So um, I'm looking here uh, at one called Alien Pilot Needs a Nanny, uh, which has got uh, an average uh, an average rating of four point six stars uh, and, and four hundred twenty reviews. So there are definitely people out there who enjoy these books. I would have to say, I'm not sure I cap myself as one of them. So I found this to be quite a strange book. And and clearly, you know, I talked when I talked about when I've talked about trashy books in the past, I've said that they are they are often very formulaic. And, and this book is definitely formulaic. Um, the problem for me is it's a formula I don't really get and, and I don't really enjoy. But obviously there are people who do enjoy it. So the formula seems to be you've got a. Um, a, a kind of young independent woman um, and you've got a hunky alien and, and the aliens are slightly bizarre in that they are 
they're kind of a bit naive so they're kind of almost like a, a slightly childlike version of of mr spock from star trek in that they're incredibly logical and they've they've kind of learned about earth and earth customs through like watching tv shows and things like that as they've been traveling through space so they try and they try and use that information they've gained to analyze events and things like that that are happening um, but yeah, they're kind of weirdly childlike in, in a slightly disturbing way. So they are, you know, really built, really hunky guys, um, but with the with the minds of uh, kind of um, like super intelligent ten year olds almost, which just felt like a bit <laughs> a bit of a weird mixture to me. Um, so this series, um, as you guess from the title. Alien Mystery Brides has a detective twist to it. So clearly each of the different Stargazer series has a different twist. This one has a detective twist and you know hey I like mystery fiction so so I thought maybe that would um, maybe that would make it appeal to me. But there's very little mystery in this. So there is kind of a mystery going on throughout it which involves um, the, the main woman and the main alien um, who you know kind of meet each other and, and team up to try and solve this mystery. The mystery is about dogs in the town of Stargazer going missing unexpectedly and bizarrely they only half solve the mystery so they find out where the dogs have been going but they don't find out who's been sending the, <laughs> the dogs there um, and there's like no mention of the fact they haven't actually solved the mystery at all at, at the end of the book so I, so I found that slightly bizarre as well. But essentially the plot is just build up to a sex scene at the end and what it felt like was lacking in this book to me was any kind of romantic tension so there's never any doubt as soon as Hannibal the, the main guy and, and the main woman meet you know that they're going to get it on there's never any doubt that they're going to get together um, and both of them want to get together you know you see kind of in you know you hear them talking to other people and things like that about the other person and you know both of them want to get together there's never any misunderstandings or anything like that like you typically get in in romances they 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 want each other yeah and all that happens as as the plot progresses is they kind of do various things until they get to the point where um, they can be alone together and, and then they have sex. <laughs> so they've got this really quite explicit sex scene at the end when they when they finally get together. Um, and as I say, the book is just a build up to that. And that seems to be the formula is is hunky alien guy, um, you know, independent earth woman. And in this case, she um, so, that, so the main character wants to um, set up a, a pet grooming agency. But she decides as she as the plot progresses that instead she's going to set up a detective agency. Oh, and there's we I forgot to mention there's weird Sherlock Holmes references uh, kind of peppered throughout it. So she lives at 221B. Um, I can't remember the name of the street. It's not Baker Street. Um, and there's a, another character called Myra Croft, like Mycroft Holmes from the from the Sherlock Holmes stories. Um, but that's it. And aside from that, as I say, the actual mystery element is really scant. Oh, the other thing she does is she does that Holmes thing of like being able to figure figure out what someone's had for breakfast and you know that kind of thing so th there's a scene right at the start where she does that with a friend of hers she she deduces things um but she doesn't use any of that deductive uh, reasoning to actually solve the mystery that that happens in the book um so yeah it's a, a, a kind of vague mystery element to it but basically the the whole reason for the plot was just to get to this sex scene at the end and then, you know, the characters get together and the next book in the series is about um, the woman's flatmate and the brother of the alien guy. So it doesn't continue, you know, the main storyline. It's a completely new storyline with two different characters, but characters you've kind of been introduced to. So whilst I didn't necessarily enjoy this book, uh, it was an interesting experience reading it. And, it. and it made me reflect on the fact that a lot of the trashy books um, I enjoy are intensely formulaic. And that, you know, whilst I enjoy them, clearly there are people who don't enjoy those those formulas and so wouldn't enjoy the book. So it was an interesting experience reading a book um, that was very, very formulaic, where it was, you know, not a formula I particularly bought into. Um, and what I would say, you know, whilst I didn't massively enjoy this book, it was never a struggle to read it. You know, it was, it was easy to keep turning the pages. And I did kind of want to, want to find out uh, what was going to happen at the end, even if there was never any doubt that, um, that the two main characters would get together. 
So, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've read uh, Hannibal, Stargazer, Alien Mystery Brides, Number One, Intergalactic Data, Dating Agency, um, or indeed any of any other of Tasha Black's books. Um, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.